Hey members, I completely forgot about Bitcoin today. <laughs> I've been so invested with the other market that uh, it very easily slipped my mind. Um, so let's get into it. The dominant trend direction is flirting with the idea of a turnaround as we have a cross on the oscillator now and this big candle up that's not in formation with the resistance arc over there. So as you know, price moves diagonally it finds the fan lines to move along or to get supported by. This isn't a very clear arc styled move. It's more of a uh, trend direction or change styled move, which means that this will be a kill zone that we look out for in terms of a kill zone formation. If there is a kill zone that forms here on the 2048, the dominant trend direction, then it could potentially be, could be, it's not, it's not proven yet. It could be a change in uh, price direction, which could have price go up. It's, it's just, we need confirmations to uh, be laid down before we can say such bold things. Let's go down to the 512 as we'll, oh, I'll leave the, the 248 uh, for now. See, when I go to the 512 and I see this energetic move uh, here, then it's starting to say that we are seeing a tr dominant trend direction change on the higher frames. Laying down a six, hmm. I mean the structure hasn't been easy. What I mean by that is this is the second half of the cycle and we've got six laid down into the first half of the cycle. So my question to myself then is why is there a bundling of turning points early on? And the answer is if for forms as late as it has now, like if it formed over there, then there would be an expected amount of energy to enter Bitcoin as it needs to compensate for all of this really slow behavior over there. All right, so as we're approaching the middle of the cycle on the 512, five likes to form somewhere in the middle of the cycle. So this energetic push is now launching it up, thrusting it up. Uh, so it can fulfill its obligation in the cycle and have the correct market structure that uh, price action is obligated to. Let's uh, leave the 512 set up like that. Uh, the 128 finally has some nice or better structure from the 128. I'm not entirely sure if this is an 8 over here going to 9, but I am going to leave it set up as such for this week. We can revisit on Monday and then on the 32. A nice energetic action launching from four to five. Once again, having to fulfill the obligation to price action. Uh, what I mean by that, as I mentioned earlier on this uh, update, is that you've got uh, the cycle length and then five typically trying to form somewhere in the middle of that cycle. So it's got a limited amount of space for it to form within that environment. And uh, when that happens, it's, it's pressured to fulfill its obligation as soon as possible. And that's where you see that big run come from. That's it for today, guys. If you got in on this long, congratulations. Uh, if you missed out on it, then don't beat yourself up. There's plenty of opportunities to uh, follow if this is an uptrend. And also, Bitcoin's been so sleepy for so long I personally forgot about it today completely. <laughs> so I didn't make any profit on this. Uh, however, we are obviously waiting for the Dow Jones to get ready to rock and roll. Um, but my point of that is don't beat yourself up. If you missed this, there will be a lot of opportunities to profit in the near future. Charles for now.